everyone, this is Dr. Pomos Singh. Today I am going to teach you how to take the blood sample. This is one of the most common teaching and procedure station in OSCE exams. First of all, I will explain how this case will come in procedure station. So the case will be that patient has taken some pills. Now your consultant has asked you to take the sample to check the level of the pills in the blood. Most of the time it will be paracetamol pills. So next doctors you need to take short history that which pills, how many pills has he taken with water or with alcohol then you need to ask when he has taken the pill. This is so important because you can't check the level of paracetamol before 4 hours. Then you need to ask your question about paracetamol toxicity that would be an intermittent pain, any nausea, any vomiting. So after doctors you need to explain why you are here. You need to tell the patient that I am here because I need to take the sample from one of the veins to check the level of paracetamol in your blood. Then you need to take short general history regarding patient has been diagnosed with any medical condition, then any blood disorders, is he taking any medications, any blood thinners and is he allergic to any medicine. The next doctor you need to ask is he having any arm preference or any arm soreness. Then you will explain the patient the procedure. You need to tell him that I am going to uh, use thin needle to insert into one the your vein of forearm. You might feel a sharp scratch. Please bear with me. I will try to be as quick as gentle as possible. Then next thing would be position. You need to ask the patient to straighten up his arm and then expose would be if he's getting half sleeves. You will can simply appreciate that I can see that you are adequately exposed for the procedure. Otherwise, you can ask him to roll up the sleeves. This is no need of chaperone in these blood sampling cases. Next doctors after uh, and a short uh, chit chat with the patient you need to move to the table and collect your equipment so now I'm going to show what are the things we need first of all we need this tourniquet why right. this is important then we need alcohol swab then we need needles there will be three type of needles basically I'm going to show you all these three type of needles either one of them would be there then you need this blood tube and then you need cotton and last you need this plaster as well. So doctors, now I'm going to discuss regarding the syringes you are going to get there. That so that would be either this that would be already attached. Okay, so there's no need to do anything, just remove this cap and use this. Next, doctor, it would be this butterfly. Alright, you need to simply take it out and attach it with make it inner like this and then you can move the cap and use it next thing is doctors last step needle will be like this you need to take this white cap out attach it to the vacuum container take the cap out and then you can use it so basically there are three type of needles these two you need to attach by yourselves and this will be already attached this one will be already attached so now next thing is doctors what we need to do next you need to prepare your equipment. So what are what you need to do in equipment preparation? Simply tear the outer back of alcohol swab like this. Don't take it out uh, after tearing. Place it here. Next thing would be if these needles are not attached, you need to attach these needles in preparation. After taking, you need to attach these in preparation part. Alright. After that, doctors, now before touching the patient, you need to wear the gloves. Most of the times in exam there will be no glove, they will be written as soon glove, so you need to advise assume I am gloved. Next doctor you will feel for the vein, we are going to take the sample, right after that you will tie the tourniquet, definitely you are wearing gloves before touching the patient, then you will tie the tourniquet, after tying the tourniquet doctor, next thing would be like to clean the area, remember doctors, clean it with the single stroke, like this, alright. And then discard this. After that, doctor, I will take the needle. Let the patient know that I am going to insert the needle. You might feel sharp scratch here. And then insert the needle. And doctors, as soon as you saw the blood, you should lose on the tourniquet. Okay, lose on the tourniquet. Take this blood tube, insert it. All right, blood will start coming. After that. You need to take it out, rotate it 180 degree, alright, and then you need to rest here, take this needle out, let the patient know, I am going to take the needle out, and ask the patient to press on it for one minute, discard it in sharp bin. Make sure that your table should be tidy at the end. 
After that, doctors you should label it with the patient details and send it to the lab. Why? After that, you need to apply the plaster as well on that side where you have taken the sample. Simply apply the plaster there. So, apply the plaster. So, after applying the plaster, doctors, you need to be in your table before leaving the station. This is so important to score high marks and at the end then you again need to talk to the patient thanks the patient and let him know that i have sent your samples and we need to check the levels and after that we might need to give you some medications and i still cysteine and let him know if he's having any tummy pain and nausea vomiting or if he's having any pain from the side you have taken sample and redness or swelling you are here to help the patient thank you so much